Tesla's got the Cybertruck, Ford's got Rivian, which they've invested in heavily and Rivian will be helping them with their all electric truck. But what does GM have? Well, GM has the new Hummer that they're bringing back and before you break out in an allergic attack, I gotta tell you, it is all electric. That's right, a Hummer, the gas guzzling superstar of the world is coming back and it's all electric. I absolutely love it. Um, this is what it used to look like. And by the way, it was so hard to find a picture on GM's uh, uh, a website, the press site, that I literally had to take a picture of my little toy here. <laughs> So I can uh, I can I can show it to you guys. Uh, anyway, it's been a while, and I absolutely love the fact that uh, a Hummer's coming back as an electric car. It's kind of a it's kind of a a, a, a full circle, if you will, uh, for this industry. Um, and they're going to be launching this with a Super Bowl ad with uh, uh, LeBron James. Um, now they have a few teaser ads, kind of uh, you know just like five second ads. I'm going to show you three of them that they just released today. Now, GM is going to be joined by two other brands, Porsche and Audi, that are going to be advertising their all-electric cars. So that's three now, at the very least. Uh, the, the, the things, the, the, the revolution has started. Last year was just Audi. I wasn't crazy about that ad, and we'll talk about it in just one second. But this year, it's at least three of them. All right, let me tell you about the specs uh, of this car because they released a couple of them today. Um, of course, if you like to be up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, including the actual Super Bowl commercial that they will show to us, I will definitely go over it and, and show it to you guys. Um, if you're interested in all of that stuff, uh, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And if you already have, there's more work to be done. Click on the bell notification icon. That way you won't miss anything moving forward. All right, so... Um, the Super, uh, uh, Super Bowl ad is going to be featuring LeBron James. Um, that's already been shot and they're ready to go, which I think is great to have somebody uh, promote this to a new generation who also appeals to the older generation. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let's talk about the specs. A thousand horsepower. That's right. A thousand. This is a teaser image, by the way, that I've photoshopped as much as I could. Um, a thousand horsepower, uh, 11 and a half thousand pound feet of torque and zero to 60 in three seconds. Now, I believe it will compete with uh, with uh, Tesla Cybertruck because it's a big futuristic, not as futuristic as Cybertruck, of course, but nevertheless, I'm sure they'll they'll make it like, like it's already, it looks pretty cool to me right now. So um, let me show you some of the quick promos, which I actually like that they've released. So here's number one. Yeah, I love it. A quiet revolution is coming. That's uh, that's a cool tagline. Uh, they are kind of doubling down on saying, yes, the electric cars are quiet and we like it that way. Now, of course, the red government regulations are not going to keep them that quiet, which I actually think is kind of silly. But, you know, got to respect the millennials walking around parking lots on their phones. But all right. Now, right, let's go to number two. Another very cute one. I like this one as well. Let me know. Now, let me play the third one before before you let me know if you like them. If you don't like them, if you do like them, let me know which one. Number three. All right. That one, that one had a little bit, but you get the point. The, the, this is this is great. I, I, I really do like it. Uh, let me know which one you like the most. Um, they are obviously trying to go over the new specs that are pretty impressive, right? Um, of course, all of this is going to come down to uh, when they're going to be making it, which they're promising at the end of the next year. So relatively soon. Uh, once again, this is the teaser image that they've released, and um, obviously the price. I mean, let's see how much it's going to cost. Um, and, and if they have a nice lease deal up front, so, and, and how many they're going to produce. Now, as I mentioned, um, there are two other brands uh, during the Super Bowl that are going to be advertising. Both Porsche and Audi both release their ads. Uh, let's talk about them uh, really quick. But before that, a quick reminder that this video 
and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric SUV that's coming to the US and uh, Europe. I hope they advertise during Super Bowl once it's here. Uh, don't forget to reserve one. It costs absolutely nothing uh, and you will be joining tens of thousands of other people like myself. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. All right, so here's another commercial that I thought uh, was actually, this is probably one of the best if not the best electric car commercials that I've seen. I have a, a video uh, about this commercial separately on my channel, so check it out. I only produced it a couple of days ago. It goes over the entire ad, but I gotta tell you, this is awesome. This is, that ad is exactly what, uh, what, I, what, I, what I want these ads to be. Um, and of course, uh, Audi, uh, you know, last year I was disappointed with their cashew ad. Uh, for many reasons. First of all, they were advertising the e-tron GT, which is not going to be available even to take reservations for a while. Uh, they mentioned nothing about the fact that it's an electric car um, or, 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 any, uh, or any advantage of, of electric cars. So I just did not like it. I thought it was a waste of money. All right, how did they do this year? Now, I think they got uh, a pretty famous actor, I think, from um, uh, Game of, Throne, of Thrones here. And um, it's it starts well, right? And this is a e-tron Sportback, which is available. By the way, I've seen it in person, and I was at the unveiling of the Sportback. Um, and I got to tell you, I love the way that card looks. Pretty good specs. I drove the e-tron, which is essentially the same inside. Um, and I, it's a great car. Um, so at least they're doing the right thing. But as you can see, the commercial, it's called Let It Go. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, I mean, yes, I understand all of this, you know, cars from the past and they're saying let it go. But what is the advantage of letting it go? You know, people will be looking and saying, hey, those, you know, those, I like that band that I used to have that my mom used to drive me around. I like that limo. I, I like the low riders or whatever you're in, right? Like there is no uh, a clear advantage of her driving uh, this e-tron. So I don't really, once again, I feel like whoever's making Audi commercials, they, they just don't understand what... Uh, what appeals to people uh, as far as electric cars are concerned, but also you got to address the the myths that people have about the electric cars, right? T talk about the advantages, like Hummer commercial, right? They talked about um, they talked about how quiet it is, right? How much torque it has, how much horsepower it has. You know, it's more powerful but yet quiet. All right, that's I like that. You know, with a Porsche commercial, they took a different approach where they said, okay, well, this is the best Porsche. This is an amazing Porsche that we ever had, but it plays nice with other Porsches that we made throughout our history. And they're all playing nice and it's all fun. This is just the next generation and it just happened to be electric. I like that approach as well. But with Audi, I feel like they keep missing the point. All right. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think. Uh, by the way, I'll be uh, continue. I've been to what three or four events already this uh, this uh, this year so far. I'll be going to a few other events. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, that's where you get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. I post there at least once a day, especially Instagram stories. To so follow me under E for Electric. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the right time. Every day, electric car news, absolutely free, including holidays. Boom! Subscribe button is right there. All right. Let me know what you guys think about these commercials. Uh, do, which brand do you think should advertise during the Super Bowl? Of course, Tesla's not going to bother. Neither they they don't need one. But which brand do you think should advertise during the Super Bowl? Uh, and which one of these three ads, um, at least that concepts you like the most? All right, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.